What a Catch, Part 11, A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction. If you have not heard the previous 10 parts, you can find a link to them in the description box below. Adrian tightened his grip around Ladybug's waist and instinctively stepped in front of her, guard up. Of all the scenarios to be without Plague, this was certainly the worst. What should he do? What can he do? Don't do it, Ladybug whispered. Don't transform. Not here. We can't have him finding out who you are. Where did he come from? Why is he here? Adrian thought aloud. Was it because they both appeared together at the wedding? I don't know. We don't even know if he's the real one. What do you mean? Because of the latest appearance of Chad Noir and Ladybug, there might be copycats running around. Or it might be a new miraculous holder altogether. I'm not going to risk it, he said, resolve in his voice. Risk what? You getting hurt. What are you... Ladybug began, watching Adrian step out into the middle of the park. I'll give them to you. As a set, Adrian said, adjusting his tie and standing firm to look Hawk Moth in the eye. Really? Hawk Moth raised an eyebrow. What's the catch? You have to play a game with Chad Noir. If you win, you get his. If he wins, he gets yours. What are you doing? Ladybug hissed. I see. What about Ladybug? Hawk Moth asked. If you win against Chad Noir, then you face her, Adrian said. What game will we be playing? I'll have to talk about that with Chad Noir himself. Why shouldn't I take her miraculous right now? Because if you hurt anyone, and I mean anyone, between now and our game, Chad Noir will throw the miraculous into a river in America. No one, including you, will see it ever again. Fine. I'll play your little game. It's been a while since I've been this intrigued. And let that civilian go. No. No? Collateral. I'll keep her until the games to make sure that the two of them show up. I'll see you here, in three days, for the competition. I look forward to it. The superheroes looked on as their arch-nemesis disappeared into the night. The silence was deafening as the two of them refused to look at each other. Adrian sighed as the adrenaline rush died and slowly turned back to the girl wearing an exasperated look on her face. What are you doing? Ladybug asked, obviously holding back a scream. I told you, I can't lose you again. But, Adrian... Anything to spend an extra day with you. Besides, I have a plan. A plan? What could your plan possibly be? Our miraculous are at stake. I'll take care of everything, Bugaboo. I promise. But I... She choked on her words. You're not the only one. I know. I won't let you get hurt. That's not what I mean. Ladybug? You're not the only one. I can't afford to lose you again either. Adrian felt the air escape his lungs as he watched the tears escape from her eyes. She loves me, he realized. Maybe not as Adrian aggressed, but she certainly loves Chad Noir. My lady, he whispered, stepping closer to wipe her tears. No, she yelled, slapping his hand away. You're not the only one in this relationship. Have you never thought how I felt about losing you? 
The years I spent without knowing you were there, thinking my actions got you killed? Adrian froze at her words. What did she mean? She thought he had died? That she failed as a partner, just like he thought for the last half decade? Ladybug, what are, what are you talking about? You, falling off the Eiffel Tower. Which time? The last time we bought Hawk Moth. I couldn't hold on and... and her sobs enveloped her and her legs gave out, plumbing her into the dirt before he could catch her. That's not possible. I'm the one who let you fall. Ladybug looked up in surprise, tears still streaming over her mask. What? Tell me what happened. Her eyes swelled up with tears again as she told him the story that matched his own perfectly, save the roles reversed. That's not possible, he muttered, drawing away from her to think. Adrian? It's been too long. What has? Do you... He hesitated a moment before turning back to her. Do you think that it was an Akuma? Like an illusion? Yeah, and... And? What if we're still under its effect? No. Ladybug froze, her voice just barely above a whisper. Adrian put his head in his hands desperately trying to think. Was this all a long, drawn-out dream? Was it reality? Had his memory been tampered with? Had hers? Regardless of what was happening, he now had reason to cancel his flight to New York. Thank you so much for listening. This was a Miraculous Ladybug fan fiction. Part 12 will be coming out shortly. In the meantime, you can find a link to more fanfiction below. I'll catch you next time.